So today we are going to learn how to quantitatively mask fit test the O2 curve uh, so that we can get consistent quantitative results. Uh, to my left here, I have a TSI port account 8038 Pro Plus, and this is the device that we'll be using to mask fit test. The idea behind this is that it's sampling the air both behind the mask and the ambient air here. And so, first of all, when you do it, it's obviously important that you have sufficient particle matter in the air. So sometimes you may need a vaporizer if you're doing it in a hospital or something along those settings. In the majority of cases, mask fit testers will be able to direct you through that process. So the idea to do it, what makes the curve a little bit different, is that you need to be able to get this grommet uh, onto the shell and the and to the filter. And so we've designed a specific clear shell to allow you to, to do that consistently. So if we look closely at the mask fit testing clear shell, we have a single large four millimeter hole uh, off to the left hand side, and that's where the grommet is gonna be going through. So I'll show you how that's done. Nothing else changes in terms of the actual uh, O2 curve itself. It, it's all the same. I haven't got the straps on this one, but this is obviously one I have that I'm gonna show you how to adjust shortly. First thing you do is you're obviously gonna take out a new filter for every single mask fit test. And so in this case, uh, I've got a brand new normal O2 curve filter. And the side that with the clear plastic is the side that goes out on the shell. So I'm gonna pop it out here, put it in this way. And there's a couple things I wanna show you when I, when I do this. As I slide it in, I have these little tabs that allow me to, to guide exactly where the filter should sit inside the shell, okay? And it's wanna be meeting along the midline. Now what you wanna do on the other side is you wanna make sure that this midline where it meets along here intersects these three central uh, holes right along the side, okay? So right down the middle of the shell, you should see three holes and it should intersect all three of them. That's how you know that it's in the correct place. Now, to do so, what I'm gonna be doing is I, I click in the top part of the shell first and it's pinched in between my fingers. Then I'm gonna pinch on the left-hand side of the mask or in my right hand and until I hear a, an audible click. And then what I do is I transfer my finger so now my right hand is pinching and then I wanna do the same with the left side, audible click. So now you know that it's tight, but I want you to test it anyway. So give it a little snug pull to make sure that the shell and the filter are in place properly. Okay, now what I always do with these clear shells is I then hold it up to the light is that you can see where the bead along the gasket goes the whole way around. So now the question is, how do I put the grommet through the assembled curve with both the filter and the shell? So in doing so, there's a couple of different methods you can use. So I'm gonna start with the, the easiest. Where you see that big hole, uh, you can put your finger on the other end and just put a a marker so that it's easy to see where it is on the other side. And when I do so, you should be able to see a little black dot and that's where you're gonna be coming through on the other end. So I'll just put it there with my finger and I can see a little black dot exactly where that is. So using the grommet puncher, which I have in my hand here, I'm going to take the grommet puncher with what would be called a male grommet on this side. So it's already loaded up. I find my little hole and I push through until I can see just the tip of the sharp end of the grommet puncher popping out of the hole. So now I put my hand so it's cupping around it, but I wanna keep it away from obviously covering this because you can puncture your hand that way. So make nice, uh, a nice amount of room there. And then we're just gonna pop it through and then make sure you've popped it all the way through so that now we have uh, grommet going through right here. And so now this is the female end of the grommet puncher and I squeeze the two together nice and tight and what we have is a O2 curve that's ready to be mask fit tested. So then to attach it for mask fit testing, you literally just pop the intake valve for the inside of the shell, and then you put it on your face the way you normally would. So the last step is now you want to remove the filter and the shell combination so that you can put a new filter on to test a new person because obviously you're not gonna be wanting to use the same filter. So in this case, all you have to do is Grab a pair of pliers that have uh, a wire cutting aspect to it and you just literally pinch off the end like so and then sometimes you can use the filter itself to pull through uh, and so in this case you can grab it like so 
So just remove the filter and grommet combination like so, so that you're ready to mask fit test a new filter and a new grommet on the new subject. And that's how to mask fit test the O2 curve.